10 minutes of non-stop news. Your hour-by-hour forecast. This is the News You Trust 10 at 10 in high definition. And later, it uh, may look sweet, but this book's story is for parents only. Find out what it's all about. You're watching the Channel 6 News live at 10. But up next, sometimes bedtime can be very frustrating for parents. A new book relates, but it's stirring up controversy. First, today's weather. Well, this will get you thinking. Uh, do you know one parent who at one time or another has not complained about being up all night with their child? I certainly do not. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, thinking of personal experience, no. No. Well, a controversial book tries to make even the most frustrated parents laugh about this, but is it doing more harm than actual good? Bedtime at the Jensen household is a routine. Two-year-old Macy and five-year-old Madison head to their rooms and get their pajamas on. They brush their teeth, and the whole family piles on Macy's bed for story time. It looks easy enough, but Macy's mom tells a different story. We just painted her room last week, and her new thing is she's afraid to sleep in her room. It's just one of the struggles parents face in the toddler phase. It seems like with her, every now and then we go through Probably just stalling mechanisms. I need to go potty. I need to get a drink. These excuses play out in a controversial book, Go the Bleep to Sleep. Obviously, the book is for parents' eyes only. The illustrations show a sweet toddler tucked in bed, but the text that goes with it, anything but sweet. Actor Samuel L. Jackson, no stranger to profanity, narrates it. I'm not getting you. Close your eyes. Cut the sleep. The book is an instant bestseller. Mandy has mixed opinions about it. The book kind of has an angry tone to it. I don't think that's the right approach. But Mandy also admits there are nights you have reached the end of your rope. Your child's still up, and a book like this could make you laugh. I understand the sentiment of, oh my gosh, can't you just go to sleep? Dr. Amanda Votruba, a pediatrician, says how to get kids to sleep is one of the most common questions she gets. I do see, you know, a lot of parents come in very frustrated, and parents sometimes do relate to books like that. Dr. Votruba says instead she recommends this book, The Sleep Fairy, that you can actually read with your kids. It talks very much about the same issues, just maybe in a more child-friendly and family-friendly kind of manner. The Jensen use reading to get their girls to bed, but there's never a guarantee. I think you can't prepare yourself for the sleepless nights. Oh, this really drums up memories for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, my daughter was the queen of these stalling tactics. <laughs> she was great. And they can go for hours with them with a different excuse yeah, well, each time. Well, you're experiencing this, I mm -hmm. would think, with a little one at home now. Uh, that's right, and Moss is now sleeping through the night. But there's still nights I peek around the corner, and he's, you know, smiling at me. And you just go, <laughs> no, you're supposed to be in bed. Yeah. But this book has certainly hit a nerve with parents. In fact, they're even planning to make a movie out of it. So no matter which way you feel about it, it's... Uh, certainly a bestseller. Just got to watch the language. <laughs> the rating is. Well, did they crown a new champion?